Hi, this is George Cow, and I'm really excited to be here today with Jen Mavros. Um, Jen uh, recently created this online experience called Loving Business Forward. I'm really excited about it. I'm, uh, I'm honored to be part of that experience. And I want her to talk about that. And also, I want, to talk, I want her to share about her work, which is really profound. And uh, I'm excited about this conversation. So, Jen, I want to say hi to you first. Yay! Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Like it's such an honor to uh, to sit here with you, my friend. So thank you so much yeah. for the invite. You're so welcome. So I want to just do a little bit of intro so people have a sense of your background. Um, you have uh, you have studied, you know, coaching. You have uh, studied healing, like Reiki and pranic and other healing. Um, you are sort of in process with getting a doctorate in metaphysical science. You have a successful podcast where you've interviewed Marianne Williamson and Bruce Lipton and uh, you know John Gray and some of the big big names in um, you know healing and transformation. And you also mentor uh, clients in getting clarity about their life and and about their business and their work as well. So, um, what is your you know before we started recording, you started to to talk about your mission. I'm like, wait, wait, let's record that. <laughs> You know, so you mentioned loving humanity forward. Yes. What does oh that mean? Holy cow. Well, I, I'm, I like to think of myself as like a cosmic love bug. Like I, <laughs> I love is my jam. Like I'm yeah. here to make as much noise as I can for love. Yes. Yes. And so, so my mission in my business is to love humanity forward. And so um, what does that look like? So really it starts with the individual journey. Like if we want to, you know, do any kind of ripples of change in the world, obviously we know they have to start with ourselves. And so helping the individual on their path, uh, move into more authentic expression of who they are so that they're like in their, they're in their, their, their own like divine radiance and they're aware of that. And, and so, um, so that's like super nutshell, but I mean, I have, um, you know, in, in my, my business that I've been growing for the last seven years, I mean, I, I do online courses. I of course have my podcast. Um, I do one-to-one -one mentoring and I'm, I'm right now like in a big transition where I'm, I'm creating a new business. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just, a, it's such a, such an epic journey, my friend. I mean, I'm like, where do I even start? Like sometimes I'm a little unclear as to like what box I want to put myself in today. Uh, so, but, um, my, my latest kind of iteration of what I'm, my big project that I'm working on right now is, uh, branches from loving humanity forward into loving business forward. And I feel like that was a really great platform to kind of look at business stuff was because, um, there's a lot of stuff that we need to address in our community and in the business space, as you know. And um, so that's, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm deepening in a more conscious platform of business so that I can uh, have, have a foundation that's rooted in what feels really aligned for me in order to continue growing my business off this platform. And I think also what's really aligned for a lot of us these days where we are waking up to um, how work is not just about making money. Um, and for many of us, it's not, it's not, it's really not about that at all. I mean, yes, we need the money to continue doing our work, yeah. but it's really about something uh, much more, much deeper, much more alive for us. Um, so uh, I want to just mention the experience that you're hosting right now. Um, sure, sure. It is, I usually say no to telesummits. And when you had reached out to me, we started talking about this possibility. I said, you know, I can't, I, I don't do telesummits, but the way that you were creating this made, showed me that this is not a, this is not a regular tele, this is something special. Yeah. And so I just want to encourage all of you watching this to go to Loving Business Forward. There's a link in the notes of this video. I think it's a really special kind of event. Um, it's a very well done um, Thank you. thing. And even, you know, every email that I get as part of the event is special. And, uh, and I just encourage all of you to sign up and kind of experience. It's an experience. Yeah. And it's, it's an experience of, you know, purpose and um, prosperity and, you know, sort of like passion and, and just so much um, goodness 
that just kind of oozes through all the emails and all the presentations and everything. So I want to, I want to just make sure people know that and, and sign up for it. And it's free right yeah. now to sign up for it. So, um, yeah. Anything else you want to say about the, how, how has the experience been for you? Holy cow. I'm like, how much time do you have, George? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have so much to say about this, but overall it's been an absolute blessing. Um, I have learned so much. Uh, I've met the most remarkable human beings that I'm like, how the heck did I not know this person existed? Uh, it's really been a transformative experience for myself. And um, it's, it's, I really feel that it's been a divinely guided project. Um, I'm kind of like merely the steward and the universe has just been like literally dropping breadcrumbs and I'm just following those breadcrumbs. So, um, yeah, it's yeah, great. That's really cool. Um, you mentioned you have online courses. Um, is that something you're actively uh, promoting right now? Is that, is that, um, do you want to yeah. say anything about that? Um, well, I, in kind of, uh, the beginning work that I used to do in my business was all about teaching people about divine manifestation. Awesome. Um, I have my own awesome. process. There we go. Uh, and, cool. and I'm kind of, I'm really segueing out of that now into this okay. newer iteration of what I'm creating. Um, but yeah, so, so online courses, they're, they're no longer available at this time. Um, but hopefully in the future, there will be some new stuff coming out. Um, yeah. Well, you, now you can, you, you probably work with your clients on the manif manifesting Yes. So do you want to say a bit about that? What is, um, you've created a method for manifestation. Do you want to give us a, a quick summary of that? Yeah. So, you know, I, I was really moved when the secret came out and I think a lot of people were kind of like, Oh my God, this is everything. And I was one of those people where it really shifted a lot of stuff for me. And I went from like, you mean, I can actually wait, I have, I can change things in my life. Like I'm not a victim of circumstance. And I felt like the secret was such a powerful, like flame starter. Like it was not at all the whole picture. It was just like a, enough to kind of just get people interested. And so I went down the, the law of attraction hole and um, really began uncovering things for my own journey uh, around, you know, stepping into your authentic self and living from um, your magnificent is really what that is. And, and leaning back into this surrendered space of what I, you know, just really flow. It's living in flow. Um, and so I, I developed a process around it where we're looking at not just the subconscious mind, but we're looking at deeper clarity. Um, and, and at this point, I no longer teach that. I will maybe eventually like in the future again, but like I said, I've, I'm, and I don't think I told you this, George. Um, over the last two years, I've actually had these really incredible uh, daily meditations that have been coming in. And it was like, it was like the universe was giving me like these little tiny puzzle pieces. And I didn't know what the whole puzzle looked like, right? It was like, here's the puzzle all assembled. I don't know what that looks like. I was just getting little fragments and pieces a day. And, and so I went through this whole spectrum of emotion uh, because I was really allowing myself to feel the feels. Um, and, and at times you, it sounded like the universe was asking me to surrender my business. And I was like, but it's my baby. What do you mean? Like wh what universe? And so, um, thankfully at the end of last year, I went through a lot of grief, uh, cause I thought the universe was asking me to surrender my business. I went through even spaces of depression, um, cause I didn't really know what this next kind of space of shifting looked like for me in my business and the work that I was creating in the world. And, um, so yes, the universe was actually asking me to, to gently release my business that I've been building for the last seven years. So I am doing that. I'm in the process of, uh, the podcast is coming with me, but what I have built up to this point will lovingly, lovingly be released and I'm creating a new business that is rooted in, um, uh, along with a lot of the other stuff I was receiving in meditation, I also received this really profound, almost like a blueprint of this invitation of, of building business differently, like building it in uh, like this new energy that we're moving into. And so that's, <laughs> that is what Loving Business Forward and why that was created initially was um, because I believe that once you, once you learn something, you got to teach it, you got to share it. So this was my way of deepening in this, in this material, deepening in, um, 
you know, what it looked like, what some of the things we're talking about in loving business forward is like, you know, true integrity, authenticity, um, being vulnerable, um, uh, inclusion, uh, connection, community, like all of these, uh, things that a lot of what you and I discussed in, in the interview from, from loving business forward, moving out of the hustle energy into alignment. Um, and so, so it was really a matter of me deepening in all of this energy and building from that foundation. And so next moving forward, um, once loving business forward has completed, uh, I'm going to be building my new business. And, um, so that's kind of where I'm at. So <laughs> that's exciting. Um, yeah. And yeah. so, uh, do, what, what, what might we expect of this new business? So loving business forward, just for all of you who are watching, who haven't yet signed up, it is a four week experience, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we're, uh, as of we are recording right now, we, we are in the middle of the four weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and so when the, when the four weeks is completed, uh, it will become a product, I assume, that people yes. can, can buy and get all the... And by the way, who are some of the people in, in, this, in this extravaganza? Yeah. You want to name Whoa. a couple of the... So many amazing people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yourself included, obviously. <laughs> um, we have Dr. John Gray is speaking. We and he's, have he's the guy who popularized or wrote uh, where, uh, Men Are From Mar Mars, Women Are From Venus. Yes. And so what, what, what did you talk with him about? Yeah. So he, um, he is like a well of wisdom. This yeah. man, I swear, like I interviewed him on my podcast as well. And I was just like blown away with what he had to share about everything. So, you know, he's obviously, he's an entrepreneur as well. And what it, you know, what it moving into like being successful in all areas of your life. And he shared with me on the podcast, uh, kind of like this, this method, cause he's actually very spiritual. He's a very spiritual man. He used to be a monk for, I think it was like nine or 10 years. I had no idea. And so he has this very beautiful uh, meditative process that he did every single day to, to create the success that he created in his life, uh, specifically when that book came out, uh, which was literally on the New York Times bestselling list for more than five years. It was, was like number one for more than five years. And so um, he certainly has experience in that. So I wanted to pick his brain, like, what did you do to, to do this, to create this. And he keeps replicating this process. So wanted to pick his brain on that. Um, Danielle Laporte is in there. We have uh, yeah, Kyle Cease. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's Kyle Cease, um, Sonali Fisk, uh, I mean, Teo yeah. Roxon. I mean, so yeah. many gorgeous souls. I, I feel bad even naming just a couple. No, I, I know, I know. And, and one of the uh, people, uh, Tad Hargrave, right, is, yes. is part of it. Mm -hmm. And he's somebody that I think a lot of my community knows. Um, yeah. So that he's part of this as well. But um, let's see, Danielle Laporte, what did you talk with her about? So we talked a lot about uh, team related stuff, like in mm. building a team, which yes. I thought was really, was really powerful. Um, kind of int the intention around that and the, the love that comes in building a team as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and what about Kyle Cease? And he's, um, I, I think some of you watching this may have heard of him as well. Yeah. So Kyle Cease uh, just recently came out with a new book called uh, The illusion of money. And so oh. we, he's in the fourth week about prosperity and talking yes. about money. And so yeah. his whole talk is called the illusion of money. Oh, so, wow. That's cool. Yeah, kind wow. of reframing, to, reframing it. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good. So, um, yeah. So what, what might we expect? I mean, now once the experience is over, what can we expect from, from Jen after that? Oh yeah. Thank you. No, thank you so much. Um, so I'm actually, my new business, I'm going to be building a multimedia platform, wow, uh, cool. that, uh, really amplifies and elevates people who, who are doing like truly remarkable things in the world. Um, that, uh, you know, I think a lot of times people, when they're creating like a telesummit or they're creating something to pl platform other people's voices, they seek out people who have like huge communities and they're big influencers. Like, I don't care about that <laughs> at all. I want people who, um, who genuinely just have the heart and that have like powerful material. Um, I'm looking forward to, to, to amplifying that. Um, so that we can create more ripples of change in the world. So that's, that's like, I'm still developing languaging around what this new thing is. Um, but there's basically going to be multiple branches that come off of that. There's going to be a space 
um, specifically geared for entrepreneurs, growing businesses consciously. Um, there's going to be a space where it's, it's specifically for the individual's journey. So personal development, deepening in uh, their, their, their soul's aligned path. And then the other kind of third branch of this is um, how can we contribute outside of ourselves? So it's kind of like a nonprofit type of thing where we're um, really building momentum for causes that need love and support. So yeah, that's I love it. I, I love it actually. I, yeah, I could see, I mean, you are a, um, you are a leader that really lives by your example. I mean, this is why I decided to join the loving business forward experience because you know, I said, Hey, I don't, I don't do tell summits cause I don't do the whole email thing with my list and try to, but you said, you know, that's okay. You know, because I want to bring people together who, who are, whose voices, you know, I really want to amplify and like, wow, this is, this is different. And, um, yeah. So I, I feel like the, the quality of what you're doing speaks for itself and oh, will you. spread, uh, without forcing people to spread it. <laughs> you know, I feel yeah. like that's really the most authentic marketing, <laughs> yeah. right? It's like when, yes. when we bring something together where, where it's, it's, it's about pull rather than push. It's like, yes. it's like, well, yeah, of course I want to share loving business forward. Of course I want to, you know, interview Jen, you know, for my people. It, yeah. it was a very natural, natural thing. So. Oh, well, thank you. No, very much. Thank you so much. And, you know, I mean, I myself received a lot of telesummit. I mean, I still receive them in my inbox. And I was always, I, I mean, I, I definitely spoke on a lot of them. And, and the last two years, I just refused them outright. I'm like, I'm not doing those anymore because they've been so, in my opinion, so harmful and so predatory. And it was all about how many people total can we get and build my list. I want to build my list as quick as possible. And it was almost like jumping on the backs of other people. And it just, it felt super gross. The energy behind it uh, was super gross to me. And so when I was, when I was creating this, I wanted to create something that was literally like the complete opposite of that. <laughs> so um, yeah. The so. whole experience was great. I, I, I mean, at one point, someday, you know, you, you may need to teach, <laughs> teach your, <laughs> your Mavros technique for telesummits, you know, <laughs> or, oh, or the, you. or the untelesummit or something like that. Yes. The I felt untelesummit. Like, it was, like I was, I was emailing you at every step. I'm like, Jen, that's cool. What you just did here with oh, how you're you. onboarding the speakers and, and yeah. then, you know, how you're rolling it out. So I, I really, yeah, um, I, I think I'm looking forward to seeing your community grow, the Loving Business thank Board you. community. Oh, thank you so much. And I have to tell you too, like I would sit with my team and we would have like our weekly uh, chats. And um, every time I got an email from you, I was like, all right, girls, we got, a, we got an email from George Cow. And like, I would share that with him because it was so valuable to us because I know you live in such integrity. You operate from such an integral space in your business and in your life that like, any feedback that you would give or any compliments that you would give, we were, we were like lit up. We were so excited. So <laughs> thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. And, and you've been so busy. I mean, I imagine you've been so busy that I haven't been sending you as many emails as I did Oh, well, please, to. by all means, send as many as you <laughs> so, like. Yeah. So I will, I will, I will start sending them again. Cause I'm like, yeah. Oh, I want to, I want to tell her about this, but I bet she's really busy. Oh. So, so, um, good, good. Well, uh, I, I hope, you know, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what, what comes of Loving Business Forward. And Thank I you. think uh, those watching will be eagerly waiting as well. And by the way, all of you can sign up for it so that you can see how it continues to shape up and how it completes and then kind of what the next stage is. So check it out. Um, it's a beautifully, gorgeously designed website also. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And um, anything else you want to kind of send us off with? No, I'm just, I'm so grateful to learn from you. And like you've, I mean, I just recently-ish discovered you over the last probably like five months. And just and everything. thanks that, to Paul Zelizer, right? Which yes. Is, give him a oh. shout out. Awarepreneurs. Oh, yeah, Paul Zelizer. Yay. Oh, I love Paul. Um, yeah, so it was, it was through him that I found you. And I'll tell you what, my friend, you've got some powerful, amazing stuff that you're pumping out. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just grateful to learn from you. So that's wow. all I want to say. I feel like uh, you are, you have the sort of, um, you know, leadership skills to build a really large community. And I feel like I'm just, you know, I'm just plugging along a little bit here, <laughs> but, um, but I'm always happy. I'm always happy to contribute however I can. So I'm really, oh, thank, thank you, you for, for doing what you do. You are a super connector and uh, you're, you're, you've got so much to offer. So thank you. Um, yeah, thank you for, uh, for doing this interview as well.
Yeah, no, thank you. My, my pleasure. Thank you yeah. so much. And thank you for the people tuning in and spending their time with us. Yes. So check out lovingbusinessforward.com. All right.